Welcome to the last segment of the Seismic Analysis Series. In this last part, we are going to focus on forces and stresses produced by seismic acceleration in different springs. Let's begin. First, let's open our project and hide level two and three to only show the columns of level one. Show the frame of the objects by clicking the show frame icon. Then select one column and from the select menu, press show selected object only. Once one column is visible, open the properties window of the selected column and change the springs material to normal steel. Then check the show material box and uncheck the show type box. Next, I'm going to show you how to view the stress strain chart of a specific spring. Start by selecting one spring and press the open chart icon to create the stress strain chart. Make sure that data, spring, stress, and strain are selected in the X and Y axis. Select all frames and press OK. Once you've done that, your chart dialog should open. Select the series and animate it by right-clicking and selecting Animate. Next, press play on your timeline to run the clip. Once you've done that, you should see the chart animation with every frame. You can add markers by selecting the series and from the properties menu, select Show Markers. Markers are extremely important when the user wants to track the changes at a specific point while the graph is animating. While running the clip, the cyclic load will be drawn. Move the cursor on any marker on the series to show its data on that specific frame. Go ahead and stop running the clip, then run it again to show the animation of the chart. Next, we'll be going through similar procedures, but this time, we'll be looking at concrete instead of steel. Close the chart window and return to the main ELS window. Go into your properties tab and hide columns of level one, then show level two. Select one column from the model and from the select menu, press on show selected object only. Like last time, open the properties window of the selected column and hide the object. Then change your material to normal concrete. It is beneficial to run an analysis on multiple types of material in order to see the significant differences between them. Select one spring, then open chart icon to draw the stress strain chart of this spring. Like we did previously, make sure that data and spring are selected in both the X and Y axis. Additionally, select strain for the X axis and stress for the Y axis, then press OK. 
The chart dialog will open again. Then right click and select animate to animate the chart. Run the clip to view the chart animation with every frame. While running the clip, the chart series of normal concrete spring will be drawn. To view the chart in more detail, move the cursor on any of the markers on the series to show its data on that particular frame. All right, so that's how we can look at forces and stresses produced by seismic acceleration in different springs. For more information, visit us at extremeloading.com.